So the question we're dealing with today, what question is Kant trying to answer? Now, if you remember, all the philosophers we looked at before were all trying to answer the question, how should you live your life, by answering a second question, a different question. When we looked at Hume and Sumner, they were trying to answer, how should you live your life, by answering the question, how are moral beliefs justified? Uh, if you remember, Hume's answer was your passions, and Sumner's answer uh, was the culture. And we moved on to Glaucon and Hobbes, and they were trying to answer the question, how should you live your life, by answering the question, whose interests are most important? If you remember, they both said your own interests are most important, but Glaucon said, since your interests are most important, justice is bad. Hobbes says, since your interests are most important, justice is good. Next, we had uh, Aristotle and Epicurus, at least the first reading for Aristotle, and they were trying to answer the question, what has more worth? For Epicurus, it was pleasure. For Aristotle, it was eudaimonia, this good spirit. The second reading for Aristotle, he's asking, trying to answer a different question. How does one acquire what has more worth? And his answer to that question was virtue. After Aristotle, we took a look at Locke, and his, uh, the question he was trying to answer is, what are your rights? And if you remember, he said you could live your life as you see fit, according to the law of nature. Following Locke, we had John Stuart Mill. He was actually trying to answer two different questions. What has more worth? And how does one acquire what has more worth? The answer to the first was pleasure. Following Epicurus, the answer to the second was one step at a time, or one act at a time. It was a consequentialist view. Uh, for Mill, the pleasure generated by an act determined its moral worth. Okay, so now that brings us up to Kant. So what question is Kant trying to answer? Is he trying to answer one of the questions we've already looked at before, or is he doing something different? You know, just because a philosopher has asked a question before and come up with an answer doesn't mean that a philosopher later on uh, asks the same question and comes up with a different answer. Well, in this case, you know, Kant, you know, Kant is not trying to do pleasure. He's not trying to do virtues. Uh, he's not trying to talk about your interests, even. Right? In fact, pleasure virtues and even your own interests are kind of irrelevant in his theory of morality. He's trying to answer the question, what is your duty? He is providing a view that's called moral absolutism, that no matter what, you must follow. It is your duty to follow these moral rules. And the moral duty he thinks you have, or the duty he thinks you have, is called the categorical imperative. You act upon that maxim upon which you could will into universal law. 